No subliminals, I'm direct, getting off. Your click is soft, let's kick it with a boss. We two people from the bottom, we just different lanes. Cole, I feel your pain, feel like I was born again. This the tiger and the lion, this is David and Goliath, this Quran. We turn off. This the wind, the rifle, and the sci-fi ignite you. What's up guys, it's Johnny Candido of Candido Training HQ and as you can tell by that intro, I'm working out with some friends here and it's kind of interesting because Michelle and Martine, who's Billy's girlfriend here, they've both been watching me for over two years and then of course Billy was my roommate from college so we've been friends for a long time. So it was, overall it's just a really great dynamic and it was really fun to be able to lift with other people because it does get kind of boring and a little bit repetitive to always lift alone. But anyways, I have a lot to talk about here. First, what you see what I'm doing with Michelle here is she was having some issues with hyperextension and I still was not able to completely solve that, which you could imagine how frustrating that was for me. I spent like 25 minutes basically trying to fix that. But when I figure that out, something I've noticed is that women are a lot more susceptible to hyperextension. So when I do figure that out, I will kind of go over what exactly I did to solve that. And that's something where the traditional cues just did not work. But anyways, what I really want to talk about here is the programming updates and kind of my future plans moving forward after that. The program updates, first of all, I've been taking so long because I have been really adjusting exactly what I want to do with it with both the new program as far as the exact you know rep ranges the exact scheme I'm using I have the whole idea it's gonna be a DUP style uh, three day a week full body program but I don't have the exact details down completely like for example the deadlift having that be three times a week frequency I'm gonna have to adjust the intensity and the whole idea here is that I'm working up to singles competition style so that's why you see here I work all the way up to a 505 low bar squat and I'm literally doing that every single workout I'm doing a low bar squat at at least right now the percentage is at, at least 85 percent and then usually it's around 85 to 90 percent so not that difficult necessarily but also just heavy enough to where it's actually training the movement pattern in a significant way. Oh! What just happened? Oh. Are you okay? You just ripped my boxes. Right? Ripped my boxes right at the center. You ripped the bottom. Up. My boxes right at the center. Right at the bottom. It just went. Really? Yep. Wow. That's the third time that's happened. You can see here that I'm switching to flat shoes for the high bar squats and some people have asked me why I've been trying that out and I'll actually say right now that now I'm doing low bar squats with flat shoes as well. I just kind of wanted to reverse engineer it, go back to my competition style with the Olympic shoes with the same stance with and then tweak with it from there. And the reason why I like the flat shoes is simply because of the video I had where my new cue is now to push off my middle of my foot rather than to push off of my heels hard. So that just made it natural to switch to flat shoes and also it helps me hit depth without going too deep. But anyways, to get back onto the topic of the programming updates, also something I'm going to do is I'm gonna have a, a version of the six week program that's a little bit more geared towards a mixture of bodybuilding and pure strength training. And that's something that personally, what I'm gonna do is after Worlds, I have the Arnold and then I have Worlds. After Worlds, I'm going to definitely focus more on body composition. Actually, I'm already doing it now. I'm adding in more things like you'll see here, I do some 20 rep sets at the end of the workout. I'm slowly adding more exercise variety but it, once again, still in this DUP style though, in how I set it up, I still have as much specificity as I need with those singles that then I can kind of use some variety later on to build muscle. What I also want to talk about is the SPD wrist wraps. And you'll see here I use these for 315 for a single and it actually felt really bad. Something just kind of felt off, even though the speed didn't look too bad. So what I did is I worked it down to 275 as you see here. That felt you know, super easy, went really fast. And then watch this. This rep at 315 is as slow as it could be. You know, it's just really awkward. So what I did is I ended up taking off the wrist wraps and you'll see here that it ends up feeling a lot better. 
and this is something that i felt before and i don't think it's due to the sbd specifically just for some reason wrist wraps for me just don't feel good when benching they feel like it makes it to where it's hard to press up towards my face and it might be because i have some slight degree of hyperextension. i don't know exactly what it is but anyways for the rep work i did spoto presses and what the workout plan for this was for the squats it was hypertrophy and then for the bench press it was control day and then for the deadlift it was a speed day one more. you got one more in you just get one more there you go don't think about it. cool oh nice damn i had more i just don't have my baby powder stick with it stick with it there you go lock it out nice <gasps> That's it. That was great. That was oh, awesome. Man, that I literally caught it here. So here, it just slipped all the way out to here. And I was just like, all right, I'm gonna hold that. And with the deadlift, you'll see I'm pulling conventional because this was recorded before I switched to sumo. I also wanted to mention that after I get all these program updates, the new program, everything out, once that's completely done, which I can't give a timeline for, just know that I'm constantly tweaking right now and working on it. And I'll see how it goes at the Arnold which will kind of give me a judgment of how well I've been doing with this. Then once that's out, then I'm going to go into coaching and then have that be the way to make my money rather than having to just push some random supplements. That's it, guys. Make sure to like the video, support the channel, subscribe if you haven't already, and thanks for watching, guys. Peace. How do you feel? I'm tired. <laughs>